Hi guys, my name is Sandro Porcher. I've been working on the module ACL feature for Joomla 3.2 and I would like to give you a quick overview of this new feature uh, that's requested by quite a lot of users. I have a default Joomla 3.2 installation ready in front of me and uh, what this new feature is all about is about the module manager. Uh, we all know the module manager um, and in the past you were already able to configure the permissions by clicking an option button uh, for all user groups uh, like the create, delete, edit, edit state action but those actions were uh, valid for all modules in the module manager so it wasn't possible to allow access to just one, two or three or more modules so um, I will give you a quick demonstration how you can use this new feature First of all, I'm going to add a new user group in the users group menu. Create a new user group called the ACL demo and select the parent group public. I will save and close it. Then I have to assign this newly created group to the access level register. Otherwise, when I log in with a test user in this group, the backend will not be visible. So it's really important to assign this group to the registered user group. We'll save and close it as well. And I'm going to create a test user to this group. So go to the user manager, create a new user, go demo. And I go to the tab Assigned User Groups and assign it to the newly created group. So I now have set up some basics and I prepared another browser window in Safari browser. And in that screen, I'm going to try to log in with my newly created user. And when I log in right now, I get an error warning, you, are not, uh, you do not have access to the administrative section of this website. And that's correct because we haven't configured any actions yet. So I go back to my admin control panel and I will go to the global configuration of my website. We'll go to the permission tab and over here you can set the permissions uh, with the scope of the entire website. So I select the ACL demo group and I want this group to be able to log in in the backend. So I can allow this user group to go to the module manager and allow just a couple modules to be editable. So I will save this and when I go back now to my demo user and try to log in again I'm able to log in in the back end of my website. So I don't see uh, that much yet. I have the system control panel, the extension, the module manager, and that's already allowed. Let's check why that is actually. So I go back to my admin control panel, go to the module manager, and I see that the public group setting is allowed. That should be inherited, so I'm just correcting the basics quickly. So normally, when you will log in, you will see just the system and help menu. And the next step we want to achieve is that this user is able to go to the module manager in the backend. So for that, we go back to our super user. We go to the uh, global configuration of the website and we select the module manager in the left option bar. And over here, we can set the permissions for the module manager. And we have all groups again. And we see that uh, the manager is able to create, uh, delete, edit, edit state. Um, and the super user is able to do anything in the module manager. So now for a new group, we want to allow access to the module manager. So I set the access administration interface to allowed and I will save it. And the calculated setting on the right is now turned into allowed. So that would mean that when I go back to my test user and refresh the page, I can see the module manager. Click on that and indeed, I can see the module manager, but I can't edit the modules in there because I can't click it, I can't create any new uh, modules in there. So uh, normally in uh, the previous Joomla versions, it was more like this behavior. So you were able to allow the edit action for all modules. And 
refresh this page. Oh, yeah, that's because of this demo not working. So we'll switch that quickly back on. So you, normally you were able to uh, edit all modules. And now we're not going to set the permissions for all modules. We're really going to uh, set it for specific modules. So when I now go back to the module manager in my admin account, I can see a list of all modules. And for example, when I would like that the user is able to, um, let's say, a custom module with custom HTML, that's all always pretty useful to allow access. Uh, you want this user group to be able to change this specific module. When you go to the module permission tab, that's the new tab in Joomla 3.2. Select the user group, and I want this group to be able to edit it, and also edit the state. And edit state means that you can publish it, unpublish it, uh, and, and those are the actions the user can perform in that case. So I will save and close this module. I will now go back to the demo user, refresh this page, and as you can see, this user is now able to uh, open this specific module, uh, change it, uh, able to save it and close it, and you can see it is changed, but the user can't change the other modules over there. I can also change the state by publishing and publishing it. And in this way, I can really just allow access to certain modules in the backend. And that's pretty useful for when you set up your website and you've put some content uh, for your end user in some custom HTML modules, for example. But you don't want them to be able to change any of your uh, structural modules, like uh, the module rendering the menu in the backend. So just allow access to the ones a user should be able to access. Um, so that's a quick overview of this new feature. You can use them very uh, a lot of different uh, ways. Just allow, for example, when you have a temporary module that the content shouldn't be able uh, to edit the popular text, and you just want the user to be able to publish it or unpublish it, you can set that up as well. So you go back to the backend, open the popular text module, go to the module permissions, and only edit the state to allow. When you save it you will see the permission is allowed. You close it again so the test user can open the module, refresh it, and you can see I can't edit the content, but I can make it unpublished or published again. So this was a quick overview of the module ACL feature in Joomla 3.2. Um, thank you and enjoy using it.